the unbalanced volume, divergence, indicator is available for various platforms on the Trading Finder website. From this section, you can download the indicator file for MetaTrader 4 and MetaTrader 5 platforms and apply it to your Tawas charts. Traders can also visit this page to learn how the indicator works. Select the indicator file from the navigator and drag it onto the chart. Ensure Allow DLL Imports is enabled in Settings, then click Confirm. Once applied, an oscillator window opens at the chart's bottom. The unbalanced volume divergence indicator helps identify changes in trading volume. Once the indicator is placed on the chart, a window of oscillators opens at the bottom of the chart. The unbalanced volume. Divergence indicator is a useful tool for identifying changes in trading volume. It shows changes in volume and displays divergences between price and volume. When divergences form, buy and sell signals are issued for trade entries or exits. For example, a classic positive divergence indicated by a blue line generates a buy signal. Additionally, when divergences are formed, buy and sell signals are issued and we can use these signals for entering or exiting trades. When divergences are formed, for example, here we have a classic positive divergence that is shown with a blue line. And after the divergence is formed, a buy signal is generated for us. In the price chart, you can also see the divergence line in this section, where the oscillator has formed higher highs, but the price has formed lower highs. You can also see an example of negative divergences in this section where the oscillator has formed lower highs, but in this part, the price has formed higher highs, which indicates a classic negative divergence. The points in the form of dots are also hidden divergences. This means that in this section, for example, two hidden divergences have been identified. The oscillator is making higher highs and higher lows, while the price is making lower highs and lower lows. In this section, two hidden divergences are found. The oscillator is making higher highs and higher lows, while the price is making lower highs and lower lows. When there are two lower highs in price and two higher highs in the oscillator, it's hidden negative divergences. Two hidden divergences are found. The oscillator is making higher highs and higher lows, while the price is making lower highs and lower lows. With two lower highs in price and two higher highs in the oscillator is hidden negative divergences. With two lower highs in the oscillator and two higher highs in price is classic negative divergences. With two lower lows in price and two higher lows in the oscillator is classic positive divergences. With two lower highs in oscillator and price forms two higher highs is classic negative divergences. Two lower lows in price and two higher lows in the oscillator indicate classic positive divergence. Two lower lows in the oscillator and two higher lows in price show hidden positive divergences. Choose display options, light, dark, or custom. When two lower lows are formed in the oscillator and two higher lows in the price, it's recognized as hidden positive divergences. In the settings section, under inputs, there are options available for us. In the first part, you can choose the display settings, including the theme or custom template for the indicator, which has three options, light, dark, and custom. By selecting the light option, a light template is applied to the chart. The template that is currently on my chart is, by selecting the dark option, a dark template is applied to the chart, and by choosing the custom option, it keeps your personalized template and only applies the indicator to the chart. In the next section, you can change the settings of the indicator. In this section, you can choose the calculation settings for the indicator, which is set to close price by default. You can also select open price, highest price, lowest price, and other options. In the next section, you can enable or disable the display of divergences. For example, if you set it to false, only the oscillator will be shown. 
In the next section, you can toggle classic divergences, you can also toggle hidden divergences, you can toggle divergence lines, and by disabling this option, the divergence lines won't show on the oscillator, but they will still be displayed. In the next section, you can toggle divergence lines. Here, the divergence lines are not shown, but they are displayed on the oscillator. I'll set it to default. In the next section, you can set color for bullish divergences in this part, and you can change the color of bearish divergences to your choice in this section. Line divergences are not displayed on the oscillator, but are displayed on the chart. In the next section, you can enable or disable the display of divergence lines on the chart. Here, for us, divergence lines are not displayed on the chart, but are displayed on the oscillator. Set to default. Next, choose colors for bullish and bearish divergences. Enable or disable alerts for buy sell signals. If disabled, other settings won't work. With alerts enabled, choose to send messages or emails. To activate, configure email settings in tools. Options. You can enable or disable the alert status for buy and sell signals. If this option is disabled, the other settings won't be functional either. However, with this option enabled, you can choose to enable or disable alerts to be sent as messages. You can enable or disable the alert status to be sent via email. Configure email settings in tools. Options to activate this option. Toggle sound alerts. Displays last 1000 candles backward from the latest. In the next section you can enable or disable alerts with a sound. You can place the sound file in this section. And in the last part, you can choose the display status of the indicator relative to the candles. It's set to display over a thousand candles, showing the last thousand candles backward from the most recent candle. Selecting the custom template, change the color of the divergences to bright blue. Click apply. The color of our divergence is changed. Change the template to dark color. Template switch to dark color. Change it to bright blue. Then hit apply. The color of our divergence is changed. Change the template to dark color. Template switch to dark color. We've reached the end of this indicator tutorial. I'll change the template to a dark color. And here we can see that my template has also changed to a dark color. Alright friends, we've reached the end of this indicator tutorial. We'd be happy to have you share your comments and suggestions with us in the comments section.